Namaste. This video is for everyone who is not used to doing breathing exercises or certain kinds of cooling pranayams every day and they face some kind of anxiety or they do not make it a regular practice because they find it boring. So today I am going to show you how to concentrate your mind to the breathing techniques if you are not used to it. Some basic thumb rules beforehand. You are not a yogi. You are doing these breathing exercises because you want to in your everyday life try and calm your anxiety and stress. The purpose of doing these exercises is so that they give you freshness, better quality of life, higher mental and physical agility and gut repair. Yes, you heard that right. The moment we do regular calming pranayams, which I am going to teach you, your gut starts to repair. When the gut or digestive system starts to repair, your immunity goes up, your mental freshness goes up, your brain can perform tasks at a much faster level. It's like it has a faster processor. So doing these on a daily basis is going to give you that impact. Keeping them or finding them boring or not doing the right technique or even hurrying up on them is not going to give you the benefits. A lot of you would have learned the breathing exercises as 10 counts, 20 counts, 50 counts. Now the moment you get into counts, then you will hurry up the process. So stop doing the counts. Start focusing on the time. 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. 1 minute, start with that. That way each inhalation and exhalation will be longer rather than to finish your counts. Right? Second point, do not sit like this like a yogi. Like I said earlier, you are not a yogi. You haven't done years of tapasya to sit erect. So, prop yourself up on a sofa, bed, chair and put your feet directly in front. Why? Because when your knees are at right angle, they are going to hurt if you do it for a longer time. Make sure that your back, spine is straight. The spine is the channel of energy. So ensure that your spine is straight. That is why you need these pillows to keep it straight because you are not habituated like a yogi who has done it for decades. Three, keep a glass of water next to you. Why is that important? Just like we are building up any exercise that requires stamina, even building up breathing exercises will make you thirsty. But you cannot get up and go and get water. It should just be you, your breath and the room. If you feel thirsty, pick up your glass of water, take a sip, keep it down, continue. That way your dhyan is not interrupted. Four, put music. I will put some links to some amazing music below this video so that you can put on that music and then it truly is called a mind-body intervention that will heal you. Mind-body interventions are those interventions that heal us at the DNA level. They repair our DNA. If we have accelerated aging, high inflammation levels, are recovering from a disease or a health issue or even a viral infection, we start calming down and we start repairing ourselves with this breath work. And finally, get comfortable into the mode of staying calm. Because when we start staying calm, that is when disease goes away, that is when freshness comes in, that is when you start getting more youthful.
and i'm sure everyone wants to get more youthful and now we are all ready so the first thing you need to do when you start doing the breathing is not deep dive into breathing do gentle deep breathing to get yourself centered into the meditative mode it may be just for a few seconds but you need that brain calmness to begin your pranayama why because we are transitioning you know you are transitioning from maybe having a bath doing your work telling somebody what to do completing a task your brain needs to transition from that activity to this calmness the first breathing exercise is the centering breathing exercise or what i call the transition breathing exercise just sit quietly you can close your eyes or you can keep them open switch on the music that's in the link below many people find it a little claustrophobic to close their eyes it's absolutely fine to keep your eyes open breathe in to a count of 4 seconds breathe out to a count of 6 seconds relax for a couple of seconds breathe in to a count of 4 seconds breathe out to a count of 6 seconds relax for a couple of seconds it's very important for you to relax instead of rushing back to breathing in again the purpose of this breath work is to calm you down if you rush then that purpose gets defeated anxiety builds up you start getting claustrophobic you start getting breathless so always relax always take your time breathe in 2 3 4 Breathe out two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Breathe in two, three, four. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Breathe in two, three, four. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Breathe in two, three, four. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Breathe in two, three, four. Breathe out gently three, four, five. Relax. Breathe in deep three, four. Breathe out softly, slowly, four, five, six. Relax. Last time. Breathe in deep three, four. Breathe out two, three, four. Slowly, slowly, relax. This four six breathing starts relaxing us and makes the body and mind aware of wanting to start feeling calm. a lot of people who do only this when they are stressed out along with the music start feeling calm very fast so if you are a beginner you can just do that for a few days before deep diving into the other pranayams why do we do smaller inhalation and longer exhalation 
it's very important that we exhale more because we are releasing our anxiety we are releasing our stress and we are releasing the inflammation that we have so for any breathing exercise which is calming it should be shorter inhalation longer exhalation the second calming breath work is alternate nose breathing which is anulom vilom pranayam when we are doing anulom vilom pranayam for cooling purposes and for repairing our gut right from our mouth till our rectal area yes that is how long our digestive system is just remember that we don't have to focus on counts we have to focus on inhalation exhalation relax in the same manner as we did for the transition breathing so a good way to do this is use the 4 6 relax principle even for this if you are a beginner right so how do we do that make sure your back is straight make sure that music is on music is very very important and after you have done your transition exercise in case you feel thirsty take a sip of water before you begin the anulom vilom for beginners start with just 2 minutes close your right nostril and inhale to a count of 4 seconds from your left nostril then exhale to a count of 6 seconds from your right nostril then relax then inhale from your right nostril to a count of 4 seconds then exhale to a count of 6 seconds from your left nostril and relax this way you repeat the process for 1 minute or 2 minutes right so what will you do let's do it together breathe in 2 3 4 on 4 you block your left nostril breathe out 2 3 4 5 6 relax don't rush in breathe in 2 3 4 on 4 you have to block your right nostril breathe out 2 3 4 5 6 relax breathe in 2 3 4 breathe out 2 3 4 5 Six, relax. Very important. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Relax. We'll do it again. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe. out 2 3 4 5 6 relax breathe in 2 3 4 breathe out 2 3 4 5 6 relax last time breathe in 2 3 4 Breathe out two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Breathe in two, three, four. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Hope you're feeling a little calmer. Just remember that the first inhalation has to be from the left, and the last exhalation also has to be from the left. So when I said last time we'll do it, I went in from the left, took out from the right, then went in from the right and took out from the left. It has to be the left for us to decrease inflammation and increase calmness levels. For anulom vilom, do it for. 2 minutes in the morning and 2 minutes before sleeping 
this is also going to sort out your sleep issues in case you get up in the middle of the night sit up and do anulom vilom you will slowly start dozing off okay the third breathing exercise is shitali this should be done in the summers or by women who are facing hot flashes during or perimenopause time or somebody who has a lot of heat in their body do not do it if you've got any fever or you are unwell okay roll your tongue and inhale the cooling breath from the room and when you inhale it keep your tongue on the top of your palate again count to 4 hold your breath and then exhale to a count of 6 and relax same four six relax principle even for shitli so let's do it once roll your tongue for those of you who cannot do this can do this okay so Yes. We'll do it once more. Breathe in by rolling your tongue and sucking in the cooling breath. So, top your tongue should be at your top palate, and you hold it there for a count of four seconds, and then you exhale from your nose gently to a count of six seconds. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Don't rush from the previous breath to the next inhalation. Always relax in between. We'll do it one more time. beautiful for those women who are struggling with hot flashes please do it do shitli for about a minute twice a day for maximum benefits now finally we have to make our brain fresh and bright how do you make your brain fresh and bright by doing the humming bee exercise the humming bee exercise is a variation of brahmri pranayam now a lot of people get anxious when they have to close their ears and eyes so there is no requirement to do that you can do the cooling breath and get the same benefits as brahmri for brain cleansing better sleep quality and calmness so how do you do that you hum like a bee how does a bee hum first of all a bee is happy when it's humming so we've got to put a little bit of happiness in our spirit when we are doing the humming bee so you will breathe in from your nose so deeply like you're taking in a fragrance uh, of a french perfume or your favorite food which you cannot eat and then you exhale to the sound of hum not mm but hum right here the four six principle does not apply because here we have to deeply inhale from our gut and then we have to exhale as long as we can till we run out of breath and then relax before we do the second brahmri or cooling breath let's do it i will demonstrate it to you and we'll do it together Hum. Till the level of breath is out, mine goes a long way because I do it every day. Yours can be short initially, and then with practice it can increase. The deeper you inhale, the longer your exhalation will be. And when you are doing the hum. 
just make sure that you are feeling the vibration on your lips it is this vibration that reduces the brain inflammation and anxiety so let's do it inhale deeply from your gut and then exhale to a sound of hum not mm. so hum and then not to make this intonations mm. because you are singing you are happy bring a smile to your face and then do the mm. like the humming bee after you have exhaled relax couple of seconds later again go um for as long as you have your breath and then relax before you move to the next one minute in the morning and one minute before sleeping not so difficult right we just did 3 minutes 3 minutes and maybe a minute before that of transition breathing so 4 minutes in the morning and 4 minutes at night 10 days consecutively with the music i have given if you do this you will immediately start feeling a shift in your calmness levels releasing your anxiety the human mind and body respond to consistency so don't do it one day or only on weekends or skip a day in between this is easily doable by everyone even the busiest person on earth so take your first step towards self care because remember stress and anxiety are the root cause of all inflammatory conditions including certain types of cancers and lifestyle diseases and if you have a condition then you should do these exercises for a longer period of time but for now if you are mr or miss busy b whether at work or at home or doing whatever you are doing you can spread more joy with the calmness of your mind so start doing these exercises to calm your mind to calm your body to calm your inflammation so that you can release the disease and live a mentally and physically agile life i'll sign off here my name is rachna chachi and i am a yoga mental health therapist and a nutritional therapist i'll see you again soon with another video but till then breathe deeply namaste mm-hmm.